Hey guys, welcome back to one more day in my life. So today, today, what are we doing? So, you know that we have the for the hatch here, and this is the baby right here. Beautiful, beautiful, big monster. So, this is the issue. Before I tell you, hit like, hit share, and share this video. This is the first issue we're gonna have. Oh yeah, subscribe. Now you can see, this right here, it's for the water pump. I had this one already, and I did it one time. I had to cut all this off. Looking at that one, maybe I had to cut like a little inch or so. So I can put that bolt back there. See that bolt right here? No, you cannot see that. Anyway, so bolt right here, I'm gonna have to use it to cut this off. So to me to find out how much I had to cut there, I had to literally go in here and cut it. My shirt is amazing, beautiful. And again, this is for a K20, a K24. We're gonna have to use one of these right here. From K Sorry, we're gonna have to use one of these for the K20 on this K24. So you know, I'm doing this real cool. Disconnecting all the injectors out. This, I really want to find out. Um, and I'm sorry, guys. I've been working a lot at nighttime lately. Um, it doesn't give me the excuse what I'm about to tell you. But, yes, I've been working a lot at night. And, let's see. That's hard. That's hard. See if I can take the injector from here. Take this out. Take the injector with me. Because I got one, two, three, four, five back here uh, on the bottom. So this kick them out. Um, I mean, I can literally use it right here, but I want to use the rail. So let me let me get the number. Right there, I'm just hearing the bolts, just in the side one. Uh, this is pretty much loose, so I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna take the whole throttle body together and then I put this out separately. I just want to see how it looks. Good. Take you know, take this one out, and then on this one, because it's gonna go on the K24, I'm gonna cut it and figure something out. You know what they say, right? You in Puerto Rican like to mess around with shit. So this is part one of a couple of videos I'm gonna do on me selling this at the hatch. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of them at nighttime because I'm be working a lot of hours lately. I'm on the job. Um, on the CRX right here, I have to remove the the fuel rail. Not the fuel rail. The whole dashboard out just to get what I need to get to do the brakes. Let me put you get right here on the action. Okay. Okay, so that's out. Let me get a number 12, and I want to hit all this one, number 12 here, there, 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 here, and then it's here, and we get this baby out of here.
Out with this one. And this is the gasket that we're replacing. This is very dirty. Ooh, look at that. Look at this, guys. First time I take this off. already there but problem I'm having I'm about to take this one out put that gasket there and then I'm gonna take this one out of here and see if I can use this because you got a mount here got a mount there and if you look here have a mount here have a mount there so I might be able to use that one let me take a look this right here the gasket in put the camera right here all right guys so put the gasket in there and moment of ah oh, my camera sorry guys put it right here moment of truth okay so huh damn it I clear no fucking way. Okay, so right there. Let me get let me get one of those screws in. sexy from here very macho all right let me get a fresh slide let me see you working too yeah still working all right let's see what we can find in this all right guys so right there holy shit so we're not using this for nothing i'll put the camera right here all right so we're not using that for nothing so i'm gonna have to cut I'm not gonna put nothing else back on. I'm gonna have to cut right here. So I'm gonna have to cut here and right about on top of this edge here and here so this can move back. Doing that, then I got clearance for everything else. And it looks amazing. Wow, look at the clearance that I got there. Oh, one more thing. Let me take this out. Let me get a number 10 and take that out. Let me do that real quick and I'll show you. Let me put you right over here. Guys, it's not. All right, guys, it's not going to work. Tell why that is. So I'm going to have to find a plate or something to cover that up. This right here. The problem I have with this is with this one, Check this out. If I put this one here on this end, oh, shit. 
right there, right there. Look what's going on here in the corner. All right. So if I'm gonna cut this one, man, I'm gonna have to be very precision where I wanna cut because I'm gonna have to cut right through here. And that's gonna be if I use this manifold. If not, I just put it to another K24. We buy K20 manifold later on for this one. I mean, I would have to buy one of those for this. But I'm gonna put this one over here. I love it how this looks. Let me take this out of here. Look how dirty it is. Let me take that out of there and put it there for now to see how how well that looks. Okay. And hold on, that was some I'm talking about that. There's some hardware right here. Oh yeah. You know what this is for, right? This is for the stud, for the intake, I presume. These right here are to cover a valve stand. One, two, three, four. So any vacuum that I don't need, like these right here. I'm gonna cover them. Let me get out of here. So anything I don't need like this, okay. Like this right here, I can cover it. That will look a lot better, bro. Look at that shit, man. Jesus Christ, that looks a lot better right now. Look at that. So guys, this is gonna be part one of a couple of videos. Look at that. Man, I can put the GoPro in there. I don't know how bad that little thing looks. Oh, man. So definitely when we build that motor, I'm putting one of those in. Definitely. Oh my God. Yep. Look, I love to build case. Series are the easiest to build so far. The B18s are cool. They're, they're real nice and shit to build. But B series, I mean K series, look at this. A little so sexy. So right now, I'm gonna have to see how it's open in the bottom right there. Right in the bottom is wide open. So I'm gonna have to start looking online for like a cover or something for there. See there's still something for here. If you guys know, oops, if you guys know anything, like, hey, you know, this is what you need to get, please comment below. Because I wanna put that on. I wanna get something covered for here. Cause that would be so but look how much space taking that little one out of here we're gonna put it in an angle like this put in that big mouth right here look how the space that we get it now so i not only i'm gonna have clearance on my hose i'm gonna have clearance i put it from back to shows like this just to look at it oh man that looks beautiful look at that it should sit there nothing else just sit in there Will be part one or part two videos um because i had to modify that right there but it looks good but in fact i'll take a picture of it Wow. 
So we run into a problem here, guys. This how long is gonna fit this one? You need a bigger throttle body. Holy shit, you're gonna need a bigger throttle body. So this one is no longer working on this. So this means I keep this one to the side. I got new sensors. I gotta go buy me the right one to fit there. But this poppy will not fit in here. So that puppy will not fit in there. I have to get the right throttle body for it. In the meantime, it's right here. Put this back. I'm gonna put that one right now for, for the meantime there. Wow, can't believe this didn't fit there. All right, fortunately, I can do nothing else tonight. I gotta go in the morning and buy something so I can cut that off and put this on the way we're wanting. Man, I gotta get a bigger throttle body. So in part two, I'm gonna be working at least how to put that back together, put it there, put the injectors back on. And it's pretty cool because this right here is gonna have plenty of room now. Look at that. It's gonna look all cool when I left all this on going on here. But again, this is the mock-up. I'm doing a mock-up right now. I would love to get all these, uh, all these screws right here. Um, this type, like this. Maybe Downstar got a kit or something for it that I can use. And um, of course, we're gonna put the logo right now here. I'm gonna clean that up real quick. Put it on. This poppy, I got a bunch of stuff to tell you guys. I mean, this is ridiculous what is going on in my shop. 
lately. I'll put these right here. Um, these right here, what you're seeing, this is gonna be my next adventure. This is gonna be for the hatch. Put it right here, I don't wanna lose them. And it's this. If you know what this is, this is gonna be the cutout for the fender in the bottle to make, get this baby more aggressive. So far, just looking at this beautiful thing right here, it looks gorgeous, it looks hot, it looks amazing. And fortunately, I gotta give bad news to the owner. That would be he's gonna have to buy a bigger throttle body on it. But it looks hot as hell, man. That looks hot as hell. Well, guys, stay tuned. Hit like, hit share, share this video. Um, stay tuned for part two on installing that Skunk 2 manifold in here and a K24. This skin, this is a K20 manifold. We're going to put in a K24. You're going to find an adapter. And if I find an adapter, I'm going to tell you where I found it so you can buy your own and put it there. I mean, listen, guys, I'm learning, you're learning. We all learn in the same way. If I made a mistake, then you know my mistake because I already made it and I'm going to fix it before you do. All right? Well, guys, on this right here, I got to take the dashboard out. That's going to be a new adventure. I already started taking everything apart on the car. It's kind of dismantled at this point. It's all taken apart, like you can see. And underneath there, everything, dashboard, I got everything almost dismantled. The steering wheels on the floor. And then, I just, you know, I was kind of bored inside. And I want to hit something. I want to do something outside. And the hatch is going to look amazing with that. Woo, boy. Hi, right, guys. This is my beautiful motors right here. This is going on the Integra. I'm going to move this over here. This baby is going on the Integra. I am looking for a B16 transmission if I find one. I got still gotta buy injectors. Um, I still gotta buy Vita Shinoi, flywheel, clutch, uh, um, what's my call it? Clutch and a transmission, flywheel and everything, timing bell, alternator I got it sitting right underneath there, hiding, uh, headers I gotta buy, you know, a lot of those stuff, but and this is going to be the new home for this for now. It was amazing with it. But again, you see how this one is cut right there? I'm going to have to do the same cut. Right here. Right here. I'm going to have to do the same cut. Man, I'm not professional. These people are. Or like I said, I should save it. Leave it there for now. I should save it. Um, I'm going to have to plug this up because there's no, no vacuum for this. And that's it. Wow. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hit like, hit share. Thank you for watching. And this is my life. Ooh, uh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Peace out.